Hey, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be going over another AI agency, but this time we're going to have a front end, as you can see here, and we'll be connecting to an open source LLM using LM Studio, which means this is going to be completely free to run locally. And what we'll be able to do is choose any body part that you want, how many days you want the workout to be, and then choose your fitness level. And once you hit submit, we're going to talk to the LLM that you choose in LM Studio. It's going to spit us back a response. It's going to show up on the right hand side, and then we can download it as a document. I have a few things to go over, so let's get started. All right. Well, the first thing we need to do is download and install LM Studio. And I will have a link in the description for my last video where I kind of explained how to do all that. But once you go to lmstudio.ai, then you download the LM software for your system. Once you run it, this will be the page that you'll be greeted to first, right? This is the home page or the home tab. And the LLM that I used was a Zephyr model. And to get there, if you just scroll down, I think it's the fourth model. Yeah, so right here, this is the Zephyr 3 billion parameter model. And I used the quantized four version. So as you can see here, I downloaded it. So you'll, have, you'll see a button here. You just click the download um, and then give it a couple minutes for it to download and then you'll be ready to go. Okay, but after that's done, on the left-hand side here, you will see kind of the double arrow for local server. You click on that and here, uh, all we have to do is go up to the top, you select a model to load. So you click this, as you can see, the last one was my Zephyr model. So I click on that and what's gonna do is now it's gonna load the Zephyr model that we downloaded or whichever model you used, it's gonna load that into LM Studio for us to use. And then the last thing is you just simply press this button, start server and you're ready to go. This is just a Flask application. You see an imported Flask, you need a render template so you can have the HTML pages. And I'm not gonna go over all the HTML because Honestly, I just found an HTML template online, modified it slightly for what I needed for like the request and the forms. And then I just used Bootstrap and there's not a lot of CSS, but whenever you go to my GitHub and you want to download this, you'll see it here. Uh, you can see in the static have a main.css and the templates, there's an index.html. You can do whatever you want with that and modify it however you want. With that said, uh, what I did this time around was I kind of separated things out. So for instance, in this agents Python file, uh, this is where I actually import autogen. So I have a user proxy and a fitness expert, and this is where I create the agents that I'm going to use. So I have two agents total, I have the user proxy, and I have the fitness assistant agent. And then over in the config Python file, this is where you can see that I used LM Studio. So this, this config list here just has the base URL of the local host that is in LM Studio. So if I go over to the environment file, Right here is the base URL. And lastly, I have a system messages Python file. And this really, you know, is just the fit, uh, fitness expert name, the message and the user proxy message. And then, and then we have the get initiate message where I have the options from the form. So what, how many days do you want the workout to be for? What body parts? And then what is your level of expertise? And then this is the custom message that will be sent to LM Studio. So now back to the main file where we'll be executing everything is I have a route here, which is just, you know, this is just a standard route for whenever you just go to your local host, I have a get and a post request, right? So for the standard uh, get request, it's just gonna return the indexed HTML page. However, if it's a post, there's the form section that you see on the left-hand side of the web page. Uh, it's gonna get the days option levels. And this is something you've seen before, user proxy dot initiate chat. We've always seen the user agent initiate the chat. So this is really no different. This is just inside of a post request. That's it. It doesn't matter where you put it because the thing is the response that we get here is what we're gonna be putting into the right side of the front end. All right, now I'm, when I go through the example, you'll see this. And then the message here, the system message Python file, we call the get initiate method where we pass in the form options. So if we go back to the system messages Python file, we pass the form options that you chose on the front end, you pass them in here, and then it's going to create the message based on that. And so then when we come back here, the last message is this is the last message that we received uh, back from LM Studio or the LLM that you used inside LM Studio, we send it back here. And then I have a global variable that is that response text. Whenever you click the submit button, it's going to call this function and it's going to use that uh, document or the summarized document that the AI gave us. And then it's going to download it into workout.doc. For whatever reason, I couldn't get .docx to work. So whenever I'll go through it, you're going to see an example here in a minute. Uh, whenever you go to download this, it's just going to, you're going to have to say, okay, on Microsoft Word. So all in all, this is really what's happening here. 
we're just having the user proxy initiate chat with the fitness expert and we're creating a custom message based on whatever you chose in the form so let's do that okay so how do you run this so when you go to run this locally just open up the terminal so if you're in an ide just open up the terminal window when you open that up you're just going to type in python 3 or just python depending on the version and then main.py okay and whenever you press enter, it's going to start up a Flask server and then give you a local uh, server to run. So now if I go to this, if I click on this to 127 port 5000, which I have here, it's going, you're going to see this. Okay, This is what you're going to see. And then now that we're here, you also need to make sure that LM Studio makes sure the server is running. So let's make sure of that really quick because I think I stopped it. Yeah, so let's start the server. And let's say we want to do a back workout and shoulders for three days and that we are a beginner. Okay, so now what's going to happen is I hit submit. And then if we go back to LM Studio, here you can see that it got the message where we want to create a plan for three days of body workout for back and shoulders and we are a beginner. Okay, great. This is That's exactly what we wanted. So if we go to PyCharm, you know, we can see the same thing, right? This LM Studio is one that's going to be handling the response. And then if we go back to LM Studio, you know, I'm going to let this run, but you can see it's starting to, we're not streaming it, right? So if you, if you if stream is by default set to false, it's going to do this accumulation of tokens thing, right? So then we can just get the response. Once it's completely done in LM Studio, we're going to get the response back. Um, so I'm going to let this, I'm going to let this run and I'll be back whenever it's finished. And we're back and LM Studio finished. And if we go back to the front end, you can see here that th this is scrollable. So it created a three day workout plan for beginners focusing on back and shoulders. And here's day one, uh, pull ups, blah, 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 day two, and then day three. Okay. And then um, it gives you like kind of a summary of the plan and a little bit what to do. Right. Uh, but now if I click the download button, see it. Oh, well, I test this a lot. This is the 13th of the same document. But uh, if you open this, this is what I meant earlier because I say this as a dot doc instead of dot X. Now, if I just hit OK, here it is. Here is the downloaded version of what LM Studio gave us as a response to a custom message based on a form that we filled out on the front end. This is great. This is a great starter for getting a simple AI agency to work and seeing a full stack where we had the front end, we had the back end that can talk to an open source LLM and it didn't cost us anything. Okay, so here it is. Here is an example of a local open source LLM. It was free, didn't cost anything, and it works. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. If you have any ways to improve this service, you know, let me know because I'm not a front end developer, right? I, I'm I'm a back end developer by trade. So I kind of just put something together that I found online and it worked for me for this example anyways. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. With that said, have a great day and I'll see you next video.